a Rudolph crocodile closes its jagged jaws on a dead cichlid fish. How can you give us both predators and scavengers? These mighty reptiles ambush animals, usually herbivores like antelope, at the water's edge and make short work of any carcasses like this one that they find drifting on the surface. There's this is the Rudolph crocodile and there's the chichid fish. With graceful procession, a fish eagle plucks a meal from the weedy fringes of its home lake. Sighting a fish near the surface, the eagle glides down, fanning its tail and slotting its wingtips to prevent stalling below. With a snatch of the talons and a great downstroke of the wings, it lifts its prey clear bottom, beats hard to gain height, center, and banks away to feeding perch far right. Approach. Sprint, banking, stable flight, snatch. Perched in a reed stem, a malachite kingfisher holds a live fish firmly in its bill. In the midst of its headlong catching drive, the bird was content merely to seize the fish. Now it must find a way of swallowing its prey without choking on fins and scales. With quick flicks of the head, it will thrash the fish against the perch to kill it, then flip the corpse round to swallow it head first. This is a malachite kingfisher. And there's the live fish right there. An adult squawker heron rests quietly on bending papyrus stem before resuming its search for food. For much of the day, it picks a delicate path through the waterside vegetation, patiently awaiting the movement that will betray its prey among the jungle of tangled roots and towering papyrus. Then it will pause briefly to snap up some aquatic insect or larva, or perhaps even a small fish or frog. This is a squacko heron. The route through Hell's Gate. The volcano long got above Hell's Gate Pass. Fever tree. Nope, this this tree will not get you sick. I promise. And hole in whistling thorn. Stargrass. Ostriches, two males and a female on alert. These are the males, and this is the female. The males are black, and the females are gray. Weaver's nests in a in thorn tree. Weaver bird. Secretary bird. Fiscal strike on Leonidas. Thompson's gazelles. A Leonidas flower. Wingless Grasshopper An Alder Buzzard About to Strike Cliff Entrance of Hell's Gate Fisher's Home A Volcanic Plug Lamberger Nesting Ridge Eastern Wall of the Gorge Embarta the Horse Young baboon grooming an elder. Succulent on volcanic rock. Sow them apples. Flow pattern on lava. A butterfly drinking. Obsidian, black volcanic glass. White fronted bee eater. Bee eater's nesting holes. Eroded volcanic ash. Dissolves flowers in a steam vent. A 
the crest of the gate, a lava flow flanking Longonot. Although only a few large animals populate the margins of the soda lakes, a host of hardy insects hunt along the formidable volcanic shores. Scavengers like the mole cricket, bottom right, find a wealth of animal and vegetable rubbish to eat. Earwigs even eat their own kind, far right. The toughest creatures, however, have their limits, as the picture of the dragonfly shows top right. Overcome by heat and fumes during its low-level aerial hunting, this predatory insect has drowned in the hot, bitter waters of a soda spring. Drowned ja dragonfly. Oops. Cannibal earwig. Hmm, I don't want to get pinched by that. Mole cricket. Parking and buckling in the intense tropical heat, the soda flats of Lake Magadi surround a shallow.